Hi writers, how are you doing? I hope that you are doing okay uh, being still in what we call quarantine or uh, time at home as you are doing your virtual learning and you're learning through um, having school at home or through computer. So I know it's different. Um, just remain positive and get creative. Uh, that's, what, that's what we do in times like this. And so this week, uh, I thought that with this lesson, with lesson two, I hope that you watch the video of Kate Messner reading The Brilliant Deep. I really enjoy this book a lot um, as we learn more about coral reefs and, and um, what the coral reefs do for us in our environment. And so I pulled a sentence from this um, book. It says, he watched TV shows about underwater explorer Jacques Cousteau. So remember, when we notice, we think about what the writer did and why the writer did it. So what are some things that you noticed that Kate Messner did in her sentence from The Brilliant Deep? So let's take a look. What are some things that you notice? Okay, so some of you noticed right off the bat that it starts with a capital letter and ends with a period. Yes, as we know, we need to start our sentences with capital letters and we need to end them in some way with an end mark like a period to let our reader know that that is the end of that thought before we move on to the other one. Some of you also noticed the capital letters in Jacques Cousteau. Again, the, that's a name. That's a name of the person of the famous explorer um, who explored underwater, who explored the sea. Um, and so we capitalize names. I capitalize names. Jacques Cousteau is a name. So we have to make sure we capitalize that. And some of you notice the capital letters in TV. So TV stands for television. And when we use, um, when we abbreviate in that way, we often use the capital letters uh, to represent that abbreviation for television. Okay, so hmm, what else did you notice? Hmm. Ah, did some of you notice that we had a two word sentence inside of that sentence? Hmm. He watched. That could have been a two word sentence in our list from lesson one, right? He watched. And Kate Messner started with that, but then she thought, huh, the reader doesn't know enough about that. I need to add details. So what did he watch? Well, he watched TV shows. And Kate Messner thought that she needed to add even more details to that about Jacques Cousteau. Well, she added even more details by saying who Jacques Cousteau was, an underwater explorer. So think of all of those details that Kate Messner added to her two-word sentence. He watched. He watched TV shows about underwater explorer Jacques Cousteau. And so as writers ourselves, we can take our two-word sentences or our subject and our verb and add details to that. And a lot of those details answer questions like who and what and when and where, even how. Um, and so that's what Kate Messner did here. And that's what you can do as well in your own writing is you can begin with two word sentences, but then you can add details. You still have a sentence with your subject and your verb. You can have other details in there as well to help your reader see um, a picture in their brain a little bit more. So let's take a look now. Remember, we have a subject and a verb, which makes up our sentence, and we can add details to that. So let's take a look at this other sentence. Sarah giggled softly with her sisters in the kitchen. Hmm. What do you notice is the same between those two sentences, and what do you notice is different? Take a minute to look and compare and contrast these two sentences. What is the same? and what is different. So some of you may have noticed that both sentences use the name of someone. 
The first sentence uses Jacques Cousteau and the second sentence uses Sarah. But the placement of those names are in different places. Jacques Cousteau is at the end of the first sentence and Sarah is at the beginning of the second sentence. But regardless, they're names of people, so we need to capitalize them because I capitalize names, right? I'm sure that you notice the period at the end in both sentences to let the reader know that the sentence is complete, that it, that thought is the, at the end. Mm, I have a feeling some of you noticed the little two word sentence in the second one too. Sarah giggled. That could have been a sentence by itself, right? But instead, that writer added details to that two word sentence to help the reader make a movie or a picture in their mind. So Sarah giggled how? How did she giggle? Softly, okay? And we added even more details with her sisters, okay? We answered who? And in the kitchen, we answered where? So both sentences added extra details to the subject and the verb to help the reader paint another picture in their mind. Thank you for joining me today as we explored the sentence from The Brilliant Deep and what Kate Messner did with her writing, where she took just a simple sentence with a subject and verb and added details to it. All of our sentences still have a subject and a verb inside of it. Be sure to wash your hands and drink lots of water. Have a great day.